welcome everyone to the first ever Reading Froggy um, podcast. Um, so I, I'm going to be doing these. I'm going to be breaking down camera categories and stuff like that. So I'll be giving more information on that at the end of the video. So again, today we're going to just be talking about best overall camera. So this camera is the Canon G7X that you are seeing on your screen. It is, I call this camera the best camera for YouTube beginners. If you are wanting to start YouTube, want a more affordable camera that isn't so expensive. The brand is Canon. The model name is the Canon PowerShot G7X. This is the Mark III. The difference between the Mark III and Mark II is the Mark III has a vertical um, flip out screen. It doesn't really flip out. It flips up. So I should have said flip up. Um, and as you can see in your photo here, it's a flip up screen. Unlike the Mark II, it flips down, which is, I don't really prefer the down because your hand and arm will just get in the way. So again, um, this camera does come with the camera base, a battery, a strap for your hand to attach to the camera, and a battery charger. Also, again, as you can see on your screen, this is a wonderful um, streaming device too. The Canon, they have released a um, streaming accessory pack, which can, it's allowing you to connect your Canon camera to your laptop or a MacBook. So again, Facebook, um, Zoom, Skype, um, YouTube, and Teams will all be a good strategy for this camera. Again, if you also just want to use it for vlogging for a YouTube channel, that is also a wonderful idea as well. So this is the finals looks at the Canon G7X Mark III, and this comes in a total of around $700. Um, all right, next camera. This camera is the Canon EOS Rebel S3, and it is a digital um, SLR. Um, it is, I call this camera the best one for traveling. It's a compact camera. The brand is Canon. The model name is the Canon Rebel SL3. Um, and the, the lens that you are seeing is a Cinema 18 and 55 millimeter lens. And it, this is the kit lens. This is the lens that it comes with. And you can see that it's a pretty long lens. The longer the lens, the more expensive the lens normally gets. You can see um, the mic on the side. And again, this does apply to all the following streaming and you can get the Canon um, accessory pack for the streaming if you want to use it for a webcam. Also, um, here's all the accessories. There's a Canon strap that comes with it, a battery, a battery charger, and a 18 55 millimeter lens. And all these Canon EOS um, cameras, they use a EF mount, um, and I'll let you know if they don't. Um, also, I know I am saying the word EOS. I, I just say EOS because I don't really know how to um, say it correctly. So, all right, next camera. Um, I call this camera the best camera for 4K and autofocus. This is the Canon EOS R. Um, and again, this camera um, is the Canon, the brand is Canon, the model name is the EOS R mirrorless digital camera, and this one comes with a 24 105 millimeter lens. Um, the form factor, it is a mirrorless camera, and the special feature is shockproof, temperature extremes, waterproof, and x-ray proof too, um, which is, I guess, good if you like traveling. Um, and you can connect it by Bluetooth and also HDMI. Again, um, this lens, that the one that comes with the kit, is a pretty long lens. If you want to bump it up, um, you can buy the $1,000 lens that comes with it, which adds. And again, this camera um, is a total around, um, the body only equals $1,500. $1,500. So if you have $1,500 to spend, this is a wonderful camera. Again, with the stem lens, which is the lens that you are looking at right now, this one costs around $1,700, and then the one with the hard kit lens, which I do not have a picture of, costs around $2,500, um, and it's a mega lens. So if you're not going to be doing like wedding photography or stuff like that, I would do not recommend. Again, um, it comes with a wide strap. It comes with the um, EOS R camera body, the um, the lens, the battery, the battery charger the cable protector, and also an interviewer's cable. So um, that is it. Make sure to tune in with the next podcast for the net, for the best 
waterproof cameras and then also GoPros. So I'm very excited with those. If you want to see any more of these, I'll give links in the description below for with all of these. And also, um, I'm going to go through the prices one more time. Again, the G7X is a $700 camera on Amazon. This one is a $750 and then I will, um, and then these prices, the body is $1,500, the, um, the one with the lens that you are seeing right now is $1,700, and then the one with the hard kit lens is $2,500. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll, again, I will be giving links to all these in the description below. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.